everybody knows that there's nothing better than a nice beautiful piece of brass but if you reload you also know that you can't always have this nice shiny beautiful brass and even this Lapua brass from time to time has to be renewed the neck and the shoulders get work hardened and eventually they will crack and become trash so what we do is we anneal the case necks my preferred method is with a propane torch and a drill and a custom socket that I made you can see here it the entire 308 case fits in pretty tightly not so tight that I can't just dump it out uh, and by that I mean hold it sideways and uh, with a sideways motion um, just slide the case out onto the cookie sheet that I use for them to uh, air cool on I don't dump them in water because quenching the brass does nothing um, to the the grain structure of the metal and um, the, the the heat from the neck is not going to migrate into the uh, head of the case and heat it to over the uh, 470 something degrees where the uh, structure of the grain the, 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 the grains of the metal actually start to change so uh, it's completely safe. This isn't my first rodeo. I've done it a lot. Um, so, anyway, what's happening here is uh, I'm trying to mimic what occurs uh, with the annealing machines. I'm sure you've seen. Uh, if you're watching this video and you're not a subscriber, uh, you're probably like me, uh, learning everything pretty much on your own, and it's time for you to start annealing cases or you want to get ready because you know that you will have to anneal so um, uh, you know from what I've read you, you don't quench the companies making brass and the ammunition don't quench their brass they just dump them all into a bucket and then they are cool uh, they anneal several times during the forming process the, uh, the key here again is that socket that you see the brass spinning in uh, protecting the lower portion of the case from the heat uh, once I dump them onto the uh, metal cookie sheet they all sit together they cool off uh, you know quickly of course but not as quickly as quenching them but then again I don't want them to be all wet uh, the only time I get my brass wet is when I do the ultrasonic cleaning so I was hoping to get a better view of uh, the brass you know the annealing process that the change in color with this shot uh, I got the SLR out hoping to uh, get that you can you can obviously you can see some change in color but uh, it's not as visible as it is to me when I'm doing it I can see the uh, the change start from the the very mouth of the case and spread into uh, down the length of the neck into the shoulder and then uh, once it gets just past that bend to the case wall that the the shoulder and it just starts to come around to the case wall that's when I uh, pulled out of the flame so again back to mimicking the annealing machines what what I've seen in all the videos is that the case will come uh, from the side into the flame closest to the flame and then slowly move away so that's what I do is I'll start the case from the side start it spinning move it in just where it touches the tip of the the blue cone inside and then um, s gradually move it away as if it's rotating in an annealing machine and I'm counting in my head 1001 1002 1003 1004 and then um, if the colors right and it usually is then um, you know, I know that it's done. So 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006. And then do it again. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006. Uh, it's pretty, you can tell it's pretty even. 
1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006. So that one there, a little bit longer, half a second. I think I pulled it away or didn't get it in quite as deep initially. Uh, I'm not a machine, so of course there's going to be some that are not exactly the same. But when we get to the end of the process, you'll see that uh, for the most part they're very uniform and also during the uh, bullet seating process uh, the annealed cases all feel very very uh, similar whenever you're seating the bullets uh, and that's the key to accuracy uh, you know extreme accuracy is consistency and uniformity concentricity and all that stuff so um, Lapua brass and Norma brass, nozzle brass is all high-end, very concentric um, brass. Uh, that's you know a very important part of accuracy is brass. Is you have to have a strong foundation. Uh, another important aspect of that brass is how evenly it grips the bullet, and um, that's what you're doing here with the annealing process. Is you're softening it so it doesn't crack um, and you're also making it more elastic and, and therefore um, if you have good even neck thickness the, the neck wall thickness if it's all the same then you'll have a nice even release on the bullet when you fire it which will help it maintain that that perfect concentricity with the barrel of your rifle and of course that leads to better accuracy um it's it's a fine science and uh you have to really just be into it you have to really love everything about it and yeah you know thankfully i do so it's a great hobby uh i can't be shooting all the time so the rest of the time you can be getting ready to shoot uh loading ammunition testing out recipes always uh always got something to do uh, brass prep is forever uh, and I love it I don't typically try to speed it up any more than I have to uh, because I like for it to take time once I'm done with that what am I going to do go watch some TV or something boring so anyway uh, this is how I anneal my brass because I, I don't really think I can justify spending 450 bucks on an annealing machine uh, I guess if I was a varmint shooter or if I shot F-Class, uh, Palma, and I went through uh, a barrel on my rifle every year because I shot a thousand rounds a week, then, you know, I could, I guess I could see getting in, getting in a kneeling machine. But uh, for me, this is, this is fun. This is, uh, it's very technical. It's very, uh, personal you know you've got your hands on the brass uh, you're you're taking care of it yourself it's uh it's rewarding you know when you finish it up you got it done you uh, you polish it load it up and you take it to the range and you shoot it uh, it's good stuff so anyway I hope you enjoyed it and uh, you know get a look of uh, of what what they they look like finished here so now you get to see the color in the cases but anyway thanks again for watching hope you enjoyed it and uh let me know if you have any questions or comments and i'll try to answer them down in the comment section thanks